Okay, so yeah, finally after almost two weeks, we now have an update for this device, which is WatchOS 7.1 Beta 3. It's available and it's to all supported Apple Watch devices. However, though, at this time, at the time I'm recording this video, it's not supported for the Apple Watch Series 5, the cell or the cellular version, more or less the same thing it's not supported. Now on the Apple website, Apple didn't mention why this is not supported. However, they did mention that it's anticipated to be supported at the end of this week. So if you have the cell version of the series five, then look forward to this update more towards the end of this week. Right now, you won't see it. Now for those that see it, since it's out, let's see what's going on with WatchOS 7.1 beta three. Okay, so if we go into the settings here and go to general and go to software update, you can see that we have WatchOS 7.1 developer beta 3. And for me on my Apple Watch Series 6, this is the blue edition of the Series 6. You can see that it comes in at 204 megabytes. Now, currently this is what's happening. If I go to the home page or rather if I go to the uh, watch face here and then long press, and then if I go to the watch face that has the emoji right first of all here it's actually sticking on beta 2 that i'm on and also if i select the watch face that has my face on or that has the customized emoji the watch freezes and sort of reboots after some time so those are some of the issues that i'm facing with this beta version as you can see it's now you know it's now back and if we go back you can see that it's sticking so this is a few of the many issues that i've been facing on watch away 7.1 beta 2 now let's quickly finish the installation process and see what are the changes and also if these issues are resolved with beta 3. Okay, so as you can see here, our Apple Watch has now been updated to WatchOS 7.1 Developer Beta 3. Let's dismiss this. Now, if we go into the settings of this watch here, settings, and then go to general, and then go to the about this watch section here, you can see the version or the build number that we have here. That is 18R5572F. Now, this build number has an F at the end and beta 2 of WatchOS 7.1 actually had an E, so it actually went back a little bit, but nothing much here. Now, in terms of, you know, how much space is being taken up by this uh, update, if we go to the usage here and see how much is being used, we can see that it's using 3.1 gig. Also, if we were to see some of the changes that we have that came with this watchOS update, the first one has to do with the watch faces. Now, as I illustrated before, if I long press here on the watch faces, you can see that it's no longer sticking. You can see that I can maneuver and move around. And not only that, but this watch face that has my custom emoji that I set, First of all, the emoji is showing before this would appear blank. And when I would select this, my watch would freeze. But as you can see here, I can move around. And even when I hover over this watch face here, it doesn't freeze and I can select this watch face like this and as you can see my emoji is showing I can click on it to do different transitions just like this and it's working without freezing this is a good fix that came with watchOS 7.1 developer beta 3 something also that came with this watchOS 7.1 has to do with messages now if you send your current location using this app here it won't be chopped off or be sent with missing sections unlike what was happening on beta 2 so that has also been fixed with watchOS 7.1 developer beta 3. Now overall though I have to say that you know it does feel more smooth compared to beta 3. The build number might be a little bit back but compared to what we have here it's actually more smooth and I like the feel of it and also it comes with quite a number of bug fixes and security improvements so when there's a number of issues and bugs that 
that have been addressed that you know helps in the performance of the device that's why i'm quite happy with the performance that i'm getting here you can see that you know applications are opening as they are supposed to settings there's no delay right there and i'm i'm quite happy with the speed that i'm getting with this watch os update now on beta 3 there was actually an issue with you know this blood oxygen saturation if you have the series 6 of the apple watch so from time to time this is something that would fail now on beta 3 i noticed that it's actually a bit more accurate although readings at this time are still fluctuating between like 92 to 100 i tested it like six or seven times after updating and yeah it still doesn't seem to be so stable but hopefully this is something that they will be able to fix very soon overall though when it comes to performance on my apple watch series 6 i'm quite happy and also when it comes to you know battery performance if we go back and go to the battery section here let's select the battery icon here you can see that you know my battery usage in fact let's go to my battery health just to see if it did degrade you can see that it's actually still on 100 percent the maximum battery health capacity so no change there and my battery usage actually when i updated to beta 2 i had no issues and with beta 3 actually some people are already reporting that battery has been improved significantly especially if you are updating from beta 1 to beta 3 from beta 2 to beta 3 you won't see a large change but from beta 1 to beta 3 there's a big change when it comes to battery performance on watch away 7.1 one beta 3 so basically that's how it is on my apple watch series 6 that i have here running watch away 7.1 beta 3 i should say it's a good update and if you are on beta 1 or beta 2 of watch OS 7.1 then i feel like in about two to three days when i do my follow-up video you know it wouldn't hurt to update unless if i find some issues that you know are going to hinder you from updating but overly if i had to say whether you should update or not based on what i've experienced in the last two hours i would say go for it but yeah if you want to be safe just wait for my follow-up video which i will do in about two to three days so that's about it for me guys if you like this video drop a like and hit subscribe and yeah stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace